Most everyone knows that some birds migrate in the spring and fall. Do you know of any insects that migrate? Here's one kind, the monarch butterfly. It is during August and September that swarms of monarchs begin their fall migration to warmer southern lands. Today, there is much of interest in the migration of monarchs. One way to study their flights is to catch and tag the butterflies. A small adhesive label is applied to one wing. The label shows where the insect was first found. Farther south, if caught again, the route of migration can be identified. Monarchs encounter many dangers. Predators and weather take their toll. On their flights, monarchs use overnight roosting sites. These are usually trees or bushes. During the peak of migration, Monarchs cling to the branches of a roost by the thousands. With each new day, wings are warmed by the sun and the butterflies continue on their way. The monarch butterfly does not travel migratory routes or flyways as birds do. Instead, its migration is a slow withdrawal to areas where cold fronts do not influence the temperature. The orange areas represent dense populations of monarchs, and the yellow, light ones. Spring migration in most localities begins in the last week of February. One by one, the migrants fly directly northeast. Along the way, the monarch feeds on the nectar of spring flowers and lays her eggs on the milkweed plant. Because of this close association, the monarch is sometimes called the milkweed butterfly. If you have not recognized the plant, perhaps you know it by its fluffy seeds. Monarchs belong to an order of insects called Lepidoptera. Lepidoptera means wings covered with scales. Black marks located on the hind wings of the male make him easy to identify. These black markings are small pockets lined with black scales. Scientists do not know what their functions are. All Lepidoptera undergo a complete metamorphosis in their life cycle. This means four stages of development. Egg, larva or caterpillar, pupa or chrysalis, and adult or imago. After mating, the female alights momentarily on a milkweed plant and deposits a single egg. In three to five days, the larva hatches. Once hatched, the larva has its first meal eating some or all of its shell. The newly hatched larva is smaller than the eye of this needle. The larva eats the only kind of food it will have during its entire life, the milkweed leaf. The young larva grows quickly. In two weeks, there is an increase in weight of over 2,000 times. Notice the comparison here of the two larval stages. With such a rapid increase in size, the skin cannot stretch enough to accommodate the growth. Thus, five times during the larval stage, the caterpillar sheds its old skin. This process is called molting. On its abdomen, the caterpillar has five pairs of false legs called prolegs. These legs are its main locomotive system. As it crawls about, the caterpillar spins from its mouth a sticky silk track which adheres to the plant. 
little hooks on the tips of the prolegs help it hold to the silk track. Sometimes the monarch cuts a notch in the underside of a leaf rib. This causes the leaf to bend. The reason for this action is not known. As it nears full growth, the caterpillar's appetite increases tremendously. It consumes enormous quantities of food in a relatively short period of time. When the larva reaches full development, it becomes restless. It leaves the plant on which it has been feeding and searches out a suitable resting place where it will change from the larval to the pupal stage. In this protected location, it begins to spin a layer of silk on the surface of the support. Slowly it weaves the silk into a kind of button. The caterpillar reverses its position and grasps the silk button with its anal prolegs, the spines of which become entangled in the silk mat. It suspends itself in an inverted position, held only by the last pair of prolegs at the end of its abdomen. Within eight to twelve hours, the larva begins to swell. The skin splits just above the head. As the swelling continues, the skin is pushed toward the posterior end of the body. Now the cremaster, or black horny barb, is removed from inside the larval skin. It is pressed firmly into the silk button. Gyrations within the pupa eventually dislodge the larval skin and it drops to the ground. Slowly, the pupa case becomes firmer and smoother. Gradually, the pupa turns dark green. Soon, through the transparent skin of the pupa, the bright orange and black color markings of the butterfly appear. Finally, the pupa case splits open. Metamorphosis is complete. The monarch emerges a helpless creature with wings so soft they cannot support flight. Depending on the temperature and weather conditions, the monarch rests for two to 17 hours. All the while it pumps body fluid into its expanding wings. With each pumping action, the wings move back and forth. Finally, it is dry, and with wings stiffened by the hardening of the fluid, the monarch is ready for flight. In just a little more than a week's time, a lowly, crawling caterpillar has changed into this colorful creation. Now its life begins as a butterfly, feeding upon the nectar of flowers and at the same time pollinating them. Eggs laid on the milkweed leaf will begin a new cycle of life for the monarch. One of the most beautiful and interesting creatures in the insect world. <laughs>